Hi everyone and welcome to the MD Trash tutorial list. Today we will learn how to perform the RMSD analysis of a protein trajectory in MD Trash. So I don't want to waste more time in teaching you what does RMSD means because we already did it when we learned how to calculate it with the VMD software. But briefly, RMSD is you are <coughs> sorry, you are. Uh, calculating the deviation from a specific reference in your structure. So you started the simulation and then your structure is deviating from the, the PDB or the first frame and you want to measure the distance from, uh, from that reference. So that's why RMSD is important. And in every MD related study, you will find the first analysis is the RMSD analysis to check the stability of the system or to check the stability of the structure itself. So in MD trage, it's quite simple just single line and uh, you can get it so in the first cell here what i'm doing is i'm importing in the as md as we learned in the first couple videos and then what is new here today is we want to plot the rmsd versus time so we need some plotting function in python and the famous one is matplotlib so we, we will import it as plt instead of when we want to call it in a, in a, in a subsequent command, we, we don't need to write all of this, so I will call it PLT, as everyone call it. And you can call it, of course, whatever you like. And then we, we also need NumPy, which is uh, a Python library to handle the, 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 the array data, because we, we're going to save or, uh, or, ha or have the RMSD values as, a, as an array, so we, we need to handle it. And then we will go. So let's import what we need first okay cool and then uh for the sake of the tutorial i have a dummy trajectory which is protein in water so as we learned in the first video we will import it with md.load and i will get my dcd file and the pdb file okay it's fine but we are interested in the RMSD analysis of a protein. We don't, uh, we, we don't calculate it for the water. So we need to slice the protein part from the trajectory. And we learned this in the second video by using the atom slice. So first I will create a variable called protein cell, which the part of the topology or the PDB I will slice from my PDB. So trash.topology.select protein, I'm slicing only the protein from my PDB file because the PDB file here is a protein in water. We are interested only in the protein. Okay. And then I will slice from the trajectory the part corresponding to the protein. So I will have another variable called protein trash. And I will use the function trash.atom slice. And I will ask it, which will, will ask in the trash to slice from my trajectory what's corresponding to protein cell which is protein okay that's clear so let's run it okay so now we have the structure ready for calculation and then i will create a new variable called rmsd and then to calculate rmsd in mditraj it's quite simple use the function md.rmsd and then you have three options here the first one is your target the target i will calculate the rmsd4 and then the reference structure okay and then the number of the frame in my reference structure so in, in my case i want to calculate the rmsd change in my protein in my trajectory so i want to compare it to the first frame so my target is my protein traj and my reference is the same trajectory and which frame I'm interested in the first frame and I will write zero because in Python we start from zero not one okay so let's run it okay so before I plot it I want to show you what is RMSD now we have the array data we have okay so this is the RMSD this is the first frame which is the reference and then how much I deviate and it's increasing because it was high temperature simulation and 750 uh, something nanosecond or something so 
of course you are not going to present your data as numbers we need to visualize it so we need to plot the time versus the RMSD and this is very simple we will use the function that we imported at the beginning PLT so PLT.plot and I will plot the RMSD and I will make the color blue and I will make the X label is nanoseconds and the Y label is the RMSD values let's see what will happen cool very very simple you don't, you, you don't even need a new software to visualize your data. You can work on this part and get higher quality photos. This is just the simplest way you can make it. So now I have 700 nanoseconds or 700 frames versus my RMSD in angstrom, but this is wrong. It should be in nanometers. So this is a mistake. Okay. So this is my RMSD in, nano, in, in nanometer versus my time in, in nanoseconds. And that's it, very simple. So what you do is you import what you need for MD Trash to work. You load your trajectory and you slice what you need from this trajectory, whether protein or whatever you need, maybe protein and chain A. I'm interested only in the chain A of my protein, if I have dimer or tetramer or, or whatever or only the C alphas or, or, or whatever you're interested you can refer to the previous video in which we learned together how to subselect or select specific parts of the protein and then you can slice from the trajectory what is corresponding to your to your new uh, topology file or PDB and then you calculate the RMSD what I have is the target the reference and which frame of the reference and then you plot it there are many better ways to plot it and then that's it very simple right and then you can export your file as an image but before I, 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 I close the video I want to compare it to the RMSD analysis we calculate with uh, VMD so let's open VMD and we will get the PSF and then we will get the trajectory Yeah, 750. And then I will analyze with the RMSD trajectory tool. I need for the backbone, I need to plot it, but first I need to align to the first frame. And then I need the RMSD. So it's almost the same, but this is because it's in Angstrom. But in our case, it was, let's compare it better in this way. make it smaller oh, but it, if I make it smaller it will not view it but I think you can spot the difference so it's almost the same but here it's in angstroms and here it is in in nanometer so that's why it's 0.5 but here it's 5 but it's still the same and I would prefer to use MD Trash, of course one more thing before I close the video, uh, be careful uh, if you need to wrap your, your protein or recenter it because it's getting out of the box. So I think the best way is to finalize this work with VMD. So you, you wrap your trajectory to avoid any error. You see, this is because I aligned it. But anyway, you need to, to have a clean structure, a clean trajectory by VMD and then you, you, you avoid any problem while working with MD Trash. And if you didn't watch the video about RMSD analysis, which was more details explaining what's RMSD and how to do it is VMD, I will suggest it here in the video. And be uh, tuned for the next video, which will be about RMSF, which is quite simple to this. Thank you, stay safe and have a nice day.